I recently bought this MacBook for two reasons. Reason one was to edit videos on the go, and reason two is so I could learn how to program iPad apps in Xcode. I originally bought an iMac in 2012 for these same reasons, but I never got around to doing it because after spending eight hours a day working in this office for my day job, I need a change of scenery. With the MacBook, I can compute in various locations with the same power that I enjoyed on my iMac. I first waited for Mac Rumors to announce an update to the MacBook, and then I promptly ordered it from eBay. I ordered it on eBay instead of Amazon for these three reasons. Reason one, Amazon charges sales tax in Florida now. eBay does not. Reason two, eBay had a lower price before tax with free shipping and thus would have an even lower price after Amazon charged tax. Reason three, PayPal credit allowed for the purchase of over $1,800 financed over 12 months with no interest. I had tried two months earlier with Amazon store credit and I was rejected for the purchase after the sales tax brought the purchase over the $1,900 limit. Of course, I would never spend money that I did not already have. I had been saving up for the MacBook for a few months and I deposited the money into the bank just in case I could not raise the money from selling things on eBay. I thoroughly intend on paying it off with sales on eBay, but just in case, I have a backup plan. I am mentioning this entire decision-making process as an educational service to those who have not been raised with the values of sound money. This was a business purchase, not a personal purchase. I have exclusively purchased this laptop to make videos such as this one that can be monetized on YouTube and to make apps that will be monetized in the App Store. I also joined the Apple Developer Program as well as registered an LLC and obtained a Dun & Bradstreet number. I am learning how to make iPad apps and if you'd like to be informed when I make a video about my progress, subscribe to this Technuba channel. I am also raising money to go back to college for a second degree in a 529C account. If you would like to contribute to that account, there is a link in the description below. By law, that money has to be spent on educational expenses. So this is a donation that will not be squandered and I will make videos on this channel or my Jonathan Lippy YouTube channel about what I have learned. As for my opinion on the laptop, it is by far the most elegant laptop I've ever used. However, for paying over $1,800, it should be the most elegant laptop I've ever used. It boots up in like 10 seconds. It's fast, thin, and relatively light, but not as light as you would think it was. I have no buyer's remorse from purchasing this laptop. I wanted something brand new to grow with. Why did I buy it new? Well, I bought it new because I wanted something brand new to grow with that I felt was my own from the beginning. But I did find the model that had just been replaced by this one on eBay for a little over $1,200. And that may have been a better business decision to purchase as the difference between that machine and this one was probably not $600 worth of a difference. If you would like to purchase the MacBook model that I purchased, there is a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to Tech Nuba. Tech Nuba.